Hey, welcome students. In this series of videos, we're going to, as it says right here, introduce 3D modeling in Fusion 360. Uh, we're going to go through a series of four videos in this assignment, this introduction video plus three more. Uh, and I just want to let you know, if you've never done a video tutorial before, uh, kind of my philosophy is you can watch this as many times as you want. Uh, you can replay it as often as you want. If you're like, gosh, Mr. Coleman is talking way too slow, you can go down to the bottom, hit the gear in YouTube and change your settings to increase my playback speed. If I'm going way too fast for you, you can slow that playback speed down. Right? So this is supposed to be helpful to you. Uh, I'm going to cover information you probably don't know about in most of these videos. All right, so please, please, please work along with me while we're doing this. Pause as often as you need to. Uh, and if you do have questions, uh, ask the students sitting around you before you raise your hand and ask me. Uh, oftentimes, your classmates can be the best helper you've got. All right, and so we're going to look at Fusion 360 here. I'm going to close these down. Ooh. All right, that was a bad noise. Uh, we're going to close these windows down, and we want to click on Fusion 360. All right. Uh, like I said, this is your first video tutorial, so I would recommend watching this video on your laptop with your earbuds plugged in uh, and then working along on your desktop computer. That way you can have two screens up, uh, kind of be bopping between the two of them. Right. Now, while this is loading, I'm just going to mention I've been into Fusion 360 a lot. Uh, yours probably isn't going to load right to Fusion 360 like mine is doing. Uh, it's going to ask you to sign in and create an account the first time. Okay, use your school email to set that account up. Uh, and when it asks you to create a team, just give your team a generic name. You could use your first name, uh, like Adam's team, I might do. Uh, or you can get creative. I called mine the A team. <laughs> Funny, right? All right. So once you've created your team, it should bring you to this page here. Okay, one of the first things I want you to do is go up to document settings and check what unit you're in. Uh, we want to be in inches. If yours is default into millimeters, we're going to click on the change active units button. Over here, a window is going to open up and you're going to make sure that inches is checked. All right. uh, and then to get rid of that window, we can hit the minus button here and we can hit the close button right, and it'll disappear for us. All right, so now that we're in inches, the next thing we're going to do just to get Fusion 360 set up uh, is we're going to do some basic file management. All right? uh, Fusion 360 saves to a cloud. It doesn't save to your hard drive. Uh, so we're going to set up our file path, first of all, here. So we're going to go up to Save. All right? And we've got two lines on here. It says, what is your project name? And then what is your project's location? Okay? We're going to make kind of a different location. Think of that like a folder. Uh, for each project that we do in class. So I'm going to click this drop down here. Um, that's going to open up. You can see all my active projects that I've got. Uh, and I'm going to come down to the bottom where it says new project. All right. And I'm going to create a project called Fusion 360 Practice. And now again, if you're new to video tutorials, you should have paused the video at that point uh, and made your own folder. Uh, if you haven't done so yet, go ahead and pause now. All right, and now that I've got that name typed in, I'm going to click on Save. Right, you can see the little wheel spinning around here. That tells me my computer's thinking. All right, and then I'm going to come on here, and I'm going to find Fusion 360 Practice and click on it, and my location shows up at the top. And so the three uh, projects that we do are the three shapes that we model up. Actually, we're going to model up one shape three ways. We're going to save in this folder today. All right, so let's go ahead and we're going to save this first one as the uh, oops, subtractive shape. And then down at the bottom here, we're going to hit save. Uh, and that's going to be it for this first video. We've opened up Fusion 360. We changed our units to inches. Uh, and we did some basic file management stuff. So in the next video, we're going to pick up with some modeling techniques and we're going to make that shape using the subtractive method. 